All right, so the way I have this uh, wired, this panel, when the an inverter is active, it is being fed by a sub panel, and I'll show that in just a second, that is um, basically acting as a manual transfer switch. So whenever we're connected to shore power, we flip the 50 amp and then turn it off. And then when we need the inverter power, we're um, connecting the 30 amp plug and it's basically feeding this panel. It's only gonna feed one side of this panel um, where, uh, where I've got, if you see the everything labeled, you know, refrigerator. And you basically just on the inside, you just make sure that you get one side of the panel um, hot. So this is the 30 amp plug or wire going over to feeding the sub panel, which feeds this. So this is our manual transfer switch. As you can see, the power cable comes in from the 50 amp and feeds this panel. And then what also feeds this panel is that orange 30 amp, uh, 10 aught or 10 gauge, whatever, coming from the inverter. Uh, this is, both of these are ends going out that wire to my main panel. So all I've done is create a manual transfer switch. And so whenever I need to, uh, I've got shore power, I turn this on. Uh, when I disconnect shore power, I turn off all my breakers. It's just the way I do it. Uh, turn off my breaker and then I turn this other one on to provide the panel, half the panel as I stated earlier, with um, inverter power. So there's that.